Hello friends and welcome back and if it's your first visit, welcome to my happy home. I am so happy that you could join us. Now you guys, I've been loving using books to decorate with. I think they are a great and versatile addition to each decor style. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you four different ways of how I use books to create style and visual elements to my space. If you are interested in seeing a very simple and easy farmhouse inspired DIY, then keep on watching. Now for the first style, I'm going to be using three hardcover books. I'm going to remove the paper cover and then that leaves me with just the hardcover. And as you can see, it's very uh, smooth and it has some gold letters on the side or the title of the book. And this one is uh, like this beige color. So it doesn't need a lot of paint. And then I have another green one. And if the colors just fit your decor, then you don't even need to paint these. But I am going to be painting these three books. I'm going to be using this silky beige matte finish acrylic paint and I got this uh, on sale for only 2 euros. I'm going to apply an even and thin layer to the books and I am using just a simple brush to apply the paint. Now what I like about acrylic paint is that it dries really fast so after say 30 minutes this was dry enough to give it a second coat and I gave um, the blue and the green book two coats and the beige book just got one coat because it was in a light color already. Now as you can see here there's a small piece that is uh, blue on the inside after I have finished applying the coat or the paint on the outside I waited it for it to dry and then I opened up the book and did the inside as well. Here is a shot of all the three books all done after uh, the second coat of paint. Now for the second style, I am using three paper bags. And you guys, all these books that I'm using for this project, I paid only 10 cents or 25 cents per book. And what I did was I chose some titles that were interested enough for me to read. And that's not a guarantee that I'm going to read them, but if I wanted to, I could. Now what I'm doing here is I am removing all the paper bag cover. After removing the covers, there were some pages that had uh, a lot of writings on them. So I removed them so that I have little writings on the first page. And I am just using my trusty multi-purpose primer paint, you guys, to paint, to paint these books. And what you need to know is that because the paint is wet, the pages will curl up a bit. But after they are dry, what I just did is I stacked them up and put some heavy stuff on them so that they could straight out. Now the third style that I'm going to share with you is very simple and easy. I am just going to wrap the books in some wrapping paper. And I got this wrapping paper in the stores. I, got, uh, I bought something breakable and they uh, wrapped it in this wrapping paper. And this is the outside and I'm using just the inside uh, to wrap the books. And for this one, I am also going to be using some simple paperback books. The only thing I'm going to be needing is some scotch tape and a pair of scissors. And I don't know about you guys, but when I was in high school, we had uh, rental books and we had to cover them or uh, wrap them for the whole school year because 
those books had to go on for years and years. So um, this is how I'm just wrapping up these books like I used to do my high school books. This is just a very simple you guys, just make sure that you wrap it like really nice and snug and really tight so that it stays uh, really tight around the book. Just to save time I am just showing one book how I wrap this and the other two books I wrapped off camera. Now what you're not seeing me do here is uh, using some scotch tape to tape off the four corners of the book. For the fourth and final uh, style you guys I lost some footage but basically what I did I took again uh, a few paper bags and they were already a bit vintage looking old brown as you can see I removed the covers and I just turned the covers inside out and um, hot glue them back to the books as you can see I thought the books were too plain so I wanted to do something extra I have this burlap I am cutting just a piece of it and I am going to wrap it around the book or the books and if you know me by now I don't like to do anything permanent so when I am hot gluing the burlap I am making sure there's something between the burlap and the books so that the hot glue won't stick directly to the book. Now to give it that extra flair, I am adding a piece of a white lace on top of the ribbon. Now for the wrapped books I'm going to be using my stamp set to stamp some words on the back of the books. And I'm not using ink, I'm just using some uh, black acrylic paint that I'm putting on a piece of sponge that I cut. And now I'm just making sure that the sponge is wet enough with the paint. Now since it's the first time that I'm using acrylic paint and my own piece of sponge, I am trying each letter out first before I stamp it to my books. Now you guys, if you have a nice handwriting unlike me, you can just go ahead and write something down yourself. But yeah, my handwriting is not pretty at all, so I am happy that I have these stamps. Now in contrary to ink, I think that using acrylic paint is so much better because it washes right off the stamps. Okay, I am all done with my stamps and let me show you how they turned out. And what I really love is the font on these stamps you guys, they are so pretty. Well you guys, uh, let me show you a different way. If you don't have a stamp set or you don't have a nice handwriting, you can also go ahead and print out some words and just glue them to your books like I did with this set. I was trying some different ways you guys. Uh, first I thought of uh, cutting out each letter separately but I thought that was too much hassle and they were just too tiny to do so so I decided to just uh, cut out each word separately and that was so much easier also to glue them on the books now that's it for this video you guys this was so much fun to do and like I said very simple and easy and you can use any type of books and if you don't want to uh, decorate your books you can just uh, go out and find some pretty books and just stack them up in your uh, decor and that will do just fine as well but I thought this was a great addition to give some style and texture and um, Yes, like I said, some visual elements to my space. 
Well, that's it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I thank you all so so much for taking the time to watch my video and I hope to see you again in my next one really really soon. Until then, remember to live, laugh and love. Bye guys!